Hi, fantastic fourth graders. Yes, this is Eureka Math Video, grade four, module three, lesson three with, oh, it's not on the side, but with Mrs. Fusca. Our learning target for this lesson is I can apply the area and perimeter formulas for rectangles in real world and mathematical problems. So we've been working on this a lot this week, and the area is, and you should respond, something square units. So it's all the little squares in the middle, and we can find the area by multiplying the length times the width. So the formula for perimeter here you see is the length plus the width plus the length plus the width, and we have a couple of ways that we can write that. Uh, one way would be the length plus the width and then multiply it times 2. Or we could write it another way. The length times 2 plus the width times 2. These are all formulas for perimeter, but they add up to be the same kind of thing. Okay, so now we're going to do a real world problem. Um, the rectangular projection screen in the NPR is five times as long and five times as wide as a rectangular screen in our classroom. So I've kind of drawn a picture here. You'll see the classroom and then the NPR. It's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five times as long. And then one, two, three, four, five, five times as wide. So my question is, what is the perimeter of the screen in the NPR? So first of all, I need to find the actual width of my classroom um, projector screen because I already know that the perimeter is 14 feet and I know that it's four feet long. So now I just need to find out how wide it is. So I'm going to put a little question mark there and remember that um, to find uh, the perimeter, we do the length plus the length plus the width plus the width is going to equal the perimeter. And I know that I can fill in some of that. I know that my length is four feet plus four feet. And I know that my perimeter is 14 feet. So I just need to figure out the rest of my equation, the rest of my formula here. So I know that eight, uh, 4 plus 4 equals 8. So then I'm going to think, oh, 14 minus 8 is 6. So then I'm thinking to myself, I've got to divide that in half. So I'm going to have 3 and 3. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 3 plus 3 is 6. 8 plus 6 is 14 feet. So now I know what is the size of my classroom projector. So now I'm just going to write up here um, what my dimensions are for the NPR. So each one of these going across the top is going to be 4 feet. So I'm just going to write 4, 4, 4, and I know that my, I know that my unit is feet, so I'm just going to add that at the end, 4 and 4. And then over here on my width, I know that each little section is going to be 3 feet, 3 feet, 3 feet, 5 times. So 3, 3, 3 three and three. So now I know um, how, how long how long my projector is and how wide my projector is and now I can calculate what is the perimeter of the screen in the NPR. So pause the video right now and see if you can add that up and remember that the remember that the perimeter of something is what we can add up all of the sides this is our perimeter I'm marking here. We add up all four sides of the rectangle to get our perimeter. So pause the video right now and see if you can add up the four sides of the rectangle of our screen in the NPR and then see if you can figure out what the perimeter is. Okay, so if I add up all of the sides, I'm going to get 70 feet. Okay, so here's another real world problem using the formula for area and perimeter. So the width of David's rectangular tent is five feet. The length is twice the width. David's rectangular air, air mattress measures three feet by six feet. 
If David puts the air mattress in the tent, how many square feet of floor space will be available for the rest of his things? So basically, I need to figure out the uh, area of the tent, and then I need to subtract from that the area of the air mattress. So let's try that. Okay, so I've marked out the tent, and to find the area of the tent, remember area, we have to multiply the width times the length. So we would multiply five times 10 to get the area of the tent. Okay, pause the video and do that. Okay, so the area is 50. Oh no, but it's 50 what? We need to put our units. Pause, make sure you put your units down. So remember that when we're talking about area, it's all the little squares in between uh, in, in the inside. So the area of our tent is 50 square feet or 50 feet squared. Now I'm going to draw the air mattress inside the tent and then we're going to find the area of the air mattress. Okay, so the air mattress is three feet by six feet. I tried to draw it a little bit to scale, it's not exactly. So the area of my air mattress or David's air mattress is three times six. So that would be 18 feet squared or 18 square feet. So now that I know the area of both the tent and the air mattress, I need to just subtract um, the air mattress from the tent and then I'll know how much space that I have all in here that's left over and so our question is um, how many square feet of floor space will be available for the rest of his things so pause the video for just a minute and see if you can subtract have you have 50 square feet subtract 18 square feet and see what you get for the area left over Okay, so if you take 50, subtract 18, and you're going to have 32, 32 what? Square feet left, um, area left in the tent for him to put his things, like his backpack or his, um, his food, whatever he needs to store in his tent. Okay, so now that you um, have watched the video, you're going to try two problems on your own. So in your Succeed homework book, complete page 131 only and bring it to school tomorrow. Don't forget your units. See you tomorrow.